the cuff is completed. One thing that I want to mention is that when you do change colors, sometimes the yarn that was the previous row, that row can be a little loose at the end. And I'll just pull that piece of yarn and it'll tighten it. So just if you find that's happening, it's no big deal. It's normal. Just go ahead and tighten it. Now we're going to get into the hand part of the mitten and the transition from the cuff to the pattern. So the cuff is 56 inches and the pattern that we're using and a lot of the patterns that I have found are 60 inches across. So we need to increase in order to do that. We're going to continue with the cream yarn and we're just going to do knit stitches. So we're not going to alternate between purling and knitting. We're just gonna do all knit stitches. And we're gonna to go to halfway, which is seven. So there's four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to add one more stitch. And the way we're going to do that is by pulling this piece and turning it into a, a place where we can stitch. So you kind of twist it. I'll use the needles to twist it like that. And then I'll just do, just knit it as a regular stitch, just like that. So now we'll have 15 stitches on this needle. just like that. And we're going to do that on all four needles, increasing from 14 to 15 and doing every stitch in a knit stitch. Let me show you a little trick that I like to do for increasing. So this large safety pin that we have that we're gonna use when we work on the thumb, sometimes I'll use those 
to just twist the yarn. It just is a little bit easier than trying to fumble with the needles. And then I'll thread it back on and then keep going. So I'll do that quite a bit when I do increases as well. Now we have 60 total stitches across all four needles. So from this point, you can start on any mitten pattern that is 60 stitches across. We're not going to do this additional bit of the cuff, although it's beautiful. I have made a pair with that additional cuff, but we're just going to start from this row, and this is where the actual pattern begins. Oops, actually the pattern begins here. So we're going to have a couple rows of white before we get to the pattern. So I'm gonna do those two rows in white. Okay, our two rows are finished and we know because we're back where the tail of the gold yarn is. You could always use a stitch marker if you're working, I don't know, all in one color, but kind of the point of these mittens is doing the color work. So you can start to see how doing just the knit stitch starts to flatten the mitten out. So the mitten is going to get wider and we are going to increase here. So when I first saw this big hole in the pattern, I found it confusing, I wasn't sure what to do. But what you're doing here is you are increasing to allow for the increase of the hand as well as the thumb. So what you're creating is this, this increase that's going to accommodate your thumb and the shape of your hand. To do that, we're just going to do some simple increases and we're going to add one, sometimes two, actually I think all these are two stitches per row. So we're gonna start, and you know, this is a great example. So as I am looking at this pattern, 
I think that I was supposed to do one increase right here. Any, anywhere there's a dot, you do an increase. So I think I was supposed to do one increase there. So we will see how the pattern works out. And if I need to, I'll add in one more stitch. And that's a very small adjustment that I might need to make just because I missed something. So I just wanna show you, like you can go back and unravel it all, but I think that one stitch is something that we can just accommodate and keep working. So color work is as simple as you just pull the piece of yarn that matches whatever color is on the pattern for that particular row. This is why I tape it off so I can really keep track of that. And then I'll also mark off each row that I do so that if for some reason the tape comes off or something or I walk away and don't work on it for a while, then I will know right where I am. The other thing that I wanna point out, this is a mitten that we're making that's going to be a right-handed mitten because the thumb is on the right side. So for this mitten, we'll work this direction, but for the second mitten, we have to work from this direction. And that sounds like a no brainer, but <laughs> I have made identical mittens instead of a pair of mittens before. And then I end up having to make two pairs of mittens. So just want you to be aware of that. So we're gonna start from this end for this mitten. So looking at the pattern, we do three gold, and this can be whatever color you want. It could be blue, red, gold, whatever. So we'll do three gold in a knit stitch, and then we pick up the cream yarn, cream yarn, do one, and then gold, cream, gold. And not only does this look cool, making this pattern, but it also means that there is some insulation in the mitten. So it actually, there's a practical reason for it too. This one is four white. And I would say I don't do more than about four or six stitches of one color without addressing this piece of yarn. Imagine if you have to stretch this across like 10 stitches, and then you end up with this big loop back here that you could get um, you know, a finger caught on as you're putting the mittens on, it could get snagged. And we will run across that as we're working on these snowflakes, this sort of long stretch of stitches. So when you get to that point, I'll just show you here since we're doing four, if you're working in the white, then you just wanna wrap the gold around so that it ends up getting stitched. It doesn't get stitched, but it's held in place by this stitch. It sort of carries the yarn along so you don't end up with a big loop. But like I said, I only do that if we're getting into more than five or six stitches or you can also do it when you go between needles. So we've got four stitches that we're doing and three are cream. And if I wanted to on this one, on this one, I could carry the gold here to just, again, help to kind of hold it in place. And we'll do three stitches, the gold, five of the white, And I do my best to keep these yarns from getting twisted, the yarn strands. They will get twisted though as you're working.
Okay, here we have a pretty long yarn float, actually. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will definitely put the fab or put the yarn behind about halfway through. So I'll do three, four, and then put the gold yarn behind so this is picked up by the cream yarn and then add three more stitches okay we'll see where we end up with the pattern here so we've got one two three two more of gold so yeah i did not add these in so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna back up just a little bit and i'm just going to add one stitch in here so we're going to increase just like we did in that first row before we started the pattern. I'm just gonna add one more stitch. So I'm adding it in two rows later than it should be, but that's not gonna be enough that it's gonna mess up the pattern. Or even if I do it right the second time, it's not going to make the mittens look that much different. Now, if I had really goofed, then I would go back and unravel it. But okay, so we've added in that one stitch so we need to do three and then two gold and then here we're going to increase so now we have one stitch left which is what we're supposed to have that's what it would be under this row underneath and then we're going to increase to these three so we're going to pull one piece of yarn out here and you'll find when you increase because you're pulling a piece of yarn out of the pattern that things can get a little bit tight, especially if you're a really tight knitter. But just be patient with that. So we'll do one, whoops, actually, we'll do white. And then we're going to do one gold stitch. And then we're going to pull one more piece out one more stitch out to increase one more stitch got to see which my good needle is i'm using that extra needle to increase okay and then we end with a cream Okay, so now we have successfully done that row. And at this point, let me show you something that I like to do just to help me with the pattern, to help section this pattern so I can see better if I'm on track. What I would like to do is get this, get the stitches sectioned out by the design, if that makes sense. And you don't have to do this, this just helps me keep track. When I'm looking at the pattern, I wanna find the halfway mark here, which is three and then, okay. So this is the halfway point right here. You see how this, this part here is distributed now across two needles. I wanna put that half of the pattern of the front of the mitten all on one needle. Okay, so I stopped the pattern right here. So I have, this is the halfway point right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go from halfway to, let's see, that's gonna get wider. I think I'll go from halfway to here. So then I'm gonna have the front on two needles and the back on two needles. And again, this is a step you don't have to do. This just helps me to keep track of things a little bit better. 
And as I start increasing on the thumb, then I also don't end up with a ton of yarn on one place and not very much on another. Okay, now this is going to continue to get bigger. When we get up to this point, I'll distribute all of this between two needles. But for right now, I don't want just three on one needle. I might kind of section that out as I, as I get a little bit more. Do you see how this kind of helps you see it a little bit better? This is the entire, well, back of the mitten, I guess. And then this is these two shorter needles here are the front. So now we can move it up and continue the pattern. And because we don't see dots on this one, over here where the thumb is, we don't increase. We do two rows of the pattern without any increasing. And how I can also tell I'm on the right row is this one now alternates gold, white, gold instead of solid gold across that band. We are back at the thumb and we're going to increase from three to five stitches. So first we do a white and then we're gonna increase where the dot is, which is on the gold. So I'm going to pull out a piece of yarn we can use as a stitch. Put in gold, then we've got cream. We need to increase again. to a gold. Oops. Like I said, these can some the increases can sometimes be a little tight. But then it'll settle down as you just do normal stitches over them. Okay. So now we have increased this section from 3 stitches to five stitches. And then the next two rows, we're going to just repeat that pattern on the thumb. Everything else, we just keep following the pattern. And then every time there's a dot, we increase all the way up to here. And that's where I'm going to start a video and show you what to do with the thumb. But until then, keep increasing. And if you come across any questions or you need me to show you that in more detail, just leave a comment and I would be happy to do that.